Hi, George here, and we're going to be doing this pencil sketch effect from a photograph. And the one I'm using me to hide some of this stuff in here is that one right there. Okay, let's see how this is done. I'm just going to delete all this other stuff in here. We don't need any of that for the moment. Get that out of the way. And we'll start off with your background image. Now, having images that have a lot of nice contrast helps. All the things that are too dark may cause you a little bit of a problem. We'll ignore that for right now. You can always clean that out later if you feel like it. The first step is to make a duplicate of this layer. So right click where it says background and duplicate layer. Choose OK and then hide that background. That's just a safety. Just in case things get messed up, we can always go back to that and start again at that point. OK, let's go up here to the background copy and we need to remove the color from this. And the easy way there is to go up here to enhance and come down to convert to black and white. You have several options in here. There's portrait. There's scenic landscape, here's urban. I think scenic landscape looks good for this particular picture. It's a little bit lighter. Choose OK. And there's our black and white image. Let's now make a duplicate copy of this one. So right click versus background copy and duplicate layer. Choose OK. There we go. We're now going to begin the tricky stuff. And the first part is to blend this into the background copy. Go up here where it says normal. Use your blend modes and come down to color dodge. And you get this kind of an effect happening in here. It's already kind of interesting, but it's not what we're going to be going for. The next one is a real tricky trick, and it's up here under Filter. Come down to Adjustments and Invert. It makes a negative of that layer. So here's our negative image. Now we can't see anything any longer. It's really just kind of faded away into white. We're going to fix that by adding a blur onto this layer. Go up to Filter, come down to Blur. And the one you want is the Gaussian Blur, and that's right here. Now you can do just a little bit like that, where a whole lot looks like a photograph again. So something pretty low. Normally what I'll do is come down to the bottom, and I'll just work my way in just a little bit like this, and take it a little further than you think it should be. So I think right about in here is looking pretty good, right, right in there someplace. Now that's nice, but we're not done yet. Let's choose OK here. Let's now adjust our values a little bit. And for that, go up here to Layer. Come down to New Adjustment Layer right here and Levels. Where it says Use Previous Layer. Check that checkbox. Choose OK. And notice in here that the blacks are the left-hand side, white's the right-hand side. And the black is way out here past the actual darkest part of the image. So take that black point and move that in. And it's going to darken down the blacks. Notice how the midtones are also beginning to go away. Ignore those for right now. First, bring your blacks in a bit better so they're into this in part of the curve right here. And then take your midtone, that's the middle gray here, and move that to the left to lighten up those grays again. And find a nice, pleasing spot. If you go too far, it begins to wash out. And it's a balancing act between this control here and the left side. It's a little bit less on the left side and a bit more right in there. And that's looking pretty good right there. So we've balanced out our image and brought in a bit more of that darkness in there. Now I also want to have some texture on this, give it an effect of being drawn onto a textured paper. And for that, come down to the background copy layer here, right click on this, duplicate that layer, choose OK. And we'll add a texture effect to this layer. The reason I'm doing it on this layer is that we can then blend this into or merge with the layer underneath so you have some control over this. Okay, go up here to Filter, come down to the Filter Gallery. And in here, you want to be in the Texture section right here. Come down to the Texturizer, it's the bottom right-hand corner. Set this at Burlap. I have my lighting set at upper left-hand corner, that's fine. Give it a real low relief, just two is all you need on that, choose OK. And that puts in that paper texture. Notice how it's too much though, it's really too, too solid. So that's why we did this additional layer. I can now come in here and on the opacity, bring the opacity down and it kind of evens out that effect and just lighten that down until I have just a little bit of that effect showing right in some of your shadow areas like in that in, in here. And that gives it an effect of being drawn onto some paper. Now a lot of this is just balancing out these different effects, get the look that you want. You can try different things. But I think this gives you a real nice naturalistic pencil sketch effect here. 
pretty quickly, pretty easily with just a few layers right hand side. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe. And my channel is 100% fan supported. So if you want to help me out on that, you can either take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, or you can support me over on Patreon. And I have a link for both of those in the description. And I want to thank my current Patreon supporters, Eternity Mine, Steve Jazz, and a new supporter, Bad Wolf. And a special thanks to Mr. Moon Pie, who just signed on as a booster. Thank you all. Your support is really greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time.